One morning at the Pickle residence, Stu was down in the basement creating his newest invention. Hmm, let's see here. Just screw this in a little more and done. Stu finally finished his latest and greatest invention. He went upstairs to show off his new invention. Hey everyone, come down here and see my new invention, he yelled. Once everyone calmed down, they looked at the invention with a weird look. I call this the Sexomatic 3000. This machine, once on, will let me have sex with virtually anyone that I want. Watch this, he said. He pointed the Sexomatic at Tommy and turned it on. The second he turned it on, Tommy was humping the shit out of his leg. <laughs> wow, everyone said. That's great. Stu was getting bored around the house because he had already had sex with everyone in the house. Anyway, everyone but Dee Dee because she was always fucking the hell out of that fraud, Dr. Lipschitz. And every time they had sex, she'd always yell, Oh, Betty. So he decided to go for a little stroll around the neighborhood. His first stop was at the Fensters. Stu knocked on the door, and out came Chaz. He was wearing a bra and panties and said, I've been waiting for you, you big piece of ass. What the fuck, said Stu. I haven't even turned this on. Chaz said, no need. Why don't you come in and we can get busy? Stu, without arguing, stepped right in and had a wild ride. After about three minutes, Stu left with his clothes on backwards and a cigarette in his mouth. Man, that Chaz sure can make me feel like a woman. Stu really wanted to put his invention to the test and to try it on someone he had wanted to have sex with for a very long time. He then went over to his brother's house and knocked on the door. His brother, Drew, answered the door wearing a French maid outfit. What do you want, said Drew. Look, I want you guys out of the house for a couple hours so I can have my way with Angelica. Stu, you know how much of a stuck-up bitch she is. There's no way she'll let you have sex with you when she won't even do her father. That's where you're wrong. You see this little doohickey in my pocket? Your erection, asked Drew? No, no, no. I mean this, the Sexomatic 3000. It lets me have sex with anyone when I want when I turn it on, so I must try it with Andrelica, you see. No, said Drew. I don't approve. Look, I'll give you ten dollars. Drew happily agreed and left the and left with Charlotte for wherever. Stu crept into the house and headed up to Angelica's room. Stu knocked on the door and really entered the room. Angelica was on her bed making out with Fluffy. She turned around hearing the knock and saw her Uncle Stu standing there. What the fuck do you want, dick tits? said Angelica. If you want to finish making out with Fluffy, you can, said Stu. Fuck that shit. What are you doing here, she asked. Funny you should mention do, said Stu. That's what I was planning on doing to you. Uncle Stu, do you realize you just rhymed? No, he said. But that doesn't matter. Let's do it. Not so fast, said Angelica. I'm not coming anywhere near that wretched old wang of yours. That's what you think, said Stu. With a flick, he turned on his machine and waited. Nothing happened. Angelica was just standing there doing nothing. What the hell, you must be too much of a bitch for this to work. Damn straight I am, asswipe. Now leave my house before I kick your stupid fucking ass. Stu left unsatisfied and horny. I must have sex with Angelica. But how? He wondered. He went back down into his basement and started up with a new invention. About a week and a half later, he had completed it. Finally, he said. This has to work. Now I can finally score with Angelica. He headed back over to her house with his head held high. When he reached their house, he rang the doorbell. Charlotte answered the door wearing Angelica's diapers and pacifier. Uh, was all Stu could say. Drew and I are just role-playing, said Charlotte. Anywho, Stu said. Can you guys leave again and let me have some alone time with Angelica? How much are you going to pay us? How about I give you Dee Dee's furry handcuffs? Shari gladly accepted and left the premises. Stu once again headed up the stairs and went to Angelica's room. Angelica was on her bed, staring at a perverted uncle. 
I figured you would be back, she said, but the result is going to be the same. On the contrary, Stu said. Say hello to my new invention, the Sexomatic 6000. Double the strength as the last one. He turned on the switch and nothing happened. God damn it, Stu yelled. In frustration, he pulled a dildo out of his ass <laughs> and threw it straight at Angelica. It was a direct hit, and Angelica was unconscious. Stu seized the opportunity and had his way with her. Stu was now satisfied for the rest of his short life. He made pudding at 4 a.m. as an act of forgiveness towards Angelica. The end.